Some batty boys said I'm a top chef. I'm going to show you how to cook jerk chicken today, yeah? How to prep the bum buckle chicken, yeah? Some boys said I'm a top chef. Top chef, weird! Eh? Them got two flavors, them got jellies, and them say food sweet. You don't know about sweet bum buckle food, yeah? You don't really hard, but you know English use. Or anything you want to put a little bit of sauce on it, you know say? It nice, it's sweet. You don't know if it... Blood clack up, never show off for blood clack up, never show off for cut up chicken. The proper yard boy. Here. Oh. Take off this. Someone, someone on the girl puts it big, so. Uh, be a nice to make. First of all, when you cut off, when you cut chicken, you cut off the body part. We don't need to that's the dash here. Next thing, we go so boom down, we skin out the foot. You see right here, so there's a middle piece, yeah? We can understand it easily, yeah? We go show now. You see, we go so boom down, we skin it out like a big pussy girl, like a butterfly, but we don't want it butterfly. Yeah? These are the wings, them. You see, when you have jerk chicken, the wings, them always cock up so they never cook. So you wait up, you drop the foot. You broke the foot so they can lay them flat. Broke the foot. Next place again now. You got some boom now. You find about the middle section. We now do middle section alone. Yeah? You got some boom now. So now you... So we got some boom now. We got some boom. We we'll, um, separate them two here. So these are the breasts, the side breasts, and these are the thigh. We got some boom now, yeah? You can see there's like a line. We got some. You find the line. See the line? You wanna see the line? You see this part of the chicken? White people don't like cleaning it out. Me that yard bomb buckler boy. And that's half the clean up. We don't need extra peat. You see? You see this fat piece here, so? Like some fat girl. We have some luck. Anytime you need a lower call on me, I'll be waiting. So you say boom now. You see the excess, the excess skin here? You want to take it off. So I'm going to go say boom now. Take it off. We don't need it. This don't have no meat on it. It's not good for you. That shit blood clot. You say yes or no? So we go say boom now. You see the part here? You don't need to use a sharp knife. I don't want to cut on yourself, yeah? Just take it out. You see, this have to come out. We don't know about some of no? We don't want to eat this blood cloud. We don't need to name it. We don't name things. You see, this come out. You see this? This will come out. That part of the chicken, they don't know. Eat it. You see, white people are African people. For some reason, they like eat it. And we don't, we don't control them things. As Jamaicans, we don't control them things. You see the skin now? We want to put some size on the skin. Pinch the skin. Look at that. Three slices. That means the seasoning can go straight into the chicken. Right as some one crack the bone in the middle. There's a middle piece of some. Crack the bone. See there? We don't want no blood in our chicken. I brought for your brother up top bar. So they can't cook like me. Why bleach? Check on the cell. Any other chefs of them bad. You're bad in your bedroom. No, you're not bad in the kitchen. Go on the business. So we say yo, we go find the party now. This is the breast part. Knew the day he will come, I will be free again. As I said to you, the wing, I broke the leg on the wing, so it 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 flat when it did on the on the jerk pan. So we got some boom now. I will put some sides on the wing. I want the season going out. Put some sides here, son. You see, with the chicken breast, you see if I slice the the, the the skin, the skin I got mash up, yeah, and it I got come off. So what me now? What me I got to do? You said the only time you can stab up somebody and I got jail. So the breast, me now cut us, me just put some slice man. That's it. But what me do, me skin out the, me skin out the back part to make sure so the season can go in right. Yeah? Any excess fat, you take it off. We don't want enough fat for anything. Yeah? You see when you, so you go so boom now. So the wing slice, I'm going to stab up the breast. Cause you say if I cut this. So this is the next part. This is the next butterfly. As I said to you already, there's like a line here, so you can see the line. 
Yeah, you find the line. Yeah, you see if you don't know what you do, you just find the line and it's cut. Perfect. You see, you find the line. You see this this belly flap or this fat part, you just cut it off. You hold the skin and be careful around the hand. You don't just cut it off. Use a sharp knife. The sharper the knife, the safer the cutting is. Can you see if the knife don't sharp, it will slip and cut you. So make sure your knife well sharp. A brother for a brother for a waste of up top boss. No boy. In England. No boy. Can't cook like me. Me not have to cook with sauce. Me talk about just proper seasoning. And make things marinate the proper way. That's how we cook. You understand? A brother for a brother. Some English boy can't cook like me. As I said to you again. Because of boom now. Pinch your skin. It's easier to cook when you pinch your skin. Three slice. Boom. You see this. I'm going to you on the find the bone. Look inside of the chicken. I saw chicken for look. Chicken for look clean. Yeah, we need to wash the chicken yet. You have to wash the chicken as well. Yeah, we put the slice in here, so we put the slice in the bone. As I said to you, the reason I'm put the slice in the bone is because when you have jerk chicken from the jerk pan, yeah, you want to make sure it's in a pink bit yeah, in the bone. Yeah, so if you have that reference point, so if you know so the bone cut. Now, when me I cook jerk chicken, me know when chicken cook. You understand? But for some people who don't know how to cook and just have use jerk pan, you put a hole yourself, so, you put you cut yourself, so, and you can tell when this when the, when this not pink, you know say cook and the way all the chicken feel. You understand? I brought fair bro. The whole of this skin fat and the whole of the slime will come out from me use my vinegar and salt. As I'm set on again, we have no party now. Cut the cut the wing, two sides. As I'm set on up, me now cut the breast. Me just have to stab up the breast. Yes, is the chicken prep up and thing. Right now, we're gonna wash the chicken. Yeah, we're gonna use some salt. Yeah, I just use some salt. If you are Jamaican, you know what I do. Um, I'm gonna use some salt and I'm gonna use some vinegar. Yeah, this is a vinegar, yeah. This is a proper Jamaican vinegar. I'm gonna just finish it. This is a proper vinegar, yeah. This, um, this still, um, vinegar. Proper vinegar for wash chicken. Go so boom now. Go so boom now. We are use, we are wash off the chicken. The whole of the cup, them, the whole of them things that need to come off. Chicken feel look clean and nice. So look how chicken clean. Yeah. All we are do things, you know. We don't, we don't, we don't rush things. As Jamaican, you know. You see, as Jamaican, if somebody else has cooked this, you know, you know, so this they jerk pan already and nearly for done. As Jamaican, we take time and we do everything. You see what the the salt and the and the vinegar do take off the whole of the slime off of the chicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash the chicken here two times. As I said to you before, I never cut the skin on the breast. Because if I cut the skin on the breast, it's going to fuck up the, the skin. You understand? So, I just have to, you just use your hand and just take a look. The whole of them things here, yeah, a white person would have cooked it. Them things are not good for you. You understand? Just use it and just rub down the chicken. Look at the vinegar though. The vinegar starts to take away the fat. You understand? You don't leave the, the, the chicken in the vinegar for too long because it will start because it's acidity, it will start cooking the chicken. But these are the slime when I talk about with the vinegar come take off of the chicken. All of this slime I come off because the vinegar and the salt I take it off. You understand? There's thyme, there's pepper, there's pimento seeds, um, there's some jerk seasoning. Um, garlic. This is a style. This is what I base it with, yeah? So you go so boom now, yeah? And you put some oil on the chicken. Yeah? The reason I put the oil on the chicken here is because I want the, the seasoning to stick to the chicken, you understand? Put some oil on the chicken. I'm going to mix it up now and then I'm going to do my dry rub. My dry rub, I want my dry rub to stick onto the chicken, yeah? And this helps when I'm jerking the chicken that the chicken doesn't dry out. And become chewy and, and, and taste like fuckery. Like we wanna go buy a blood clash up. You understand? So the chicken's well clean. I put some oil on it. You can put any type of oil, you know what I mean? I just have pure um corn oil or whatever you wanna put on vegetable oil or whatever you wanna call it. So I'll just put some oil on that. I'm gonna mix it up in a minute, yeah, and then I'm gonna put my dry rub so my dry rub sticks. Oil on the chicken, I'll mix it around, yeah. Now I'm gonna put some chicken seasoning on. Yeah, evenly over. Everywhere, yeah. Chicken seasoning. So I'll give you that chicken seasoning now. Boom. I'm gonna mix that up now. I'm gonna mix it up. 
So I want to show you guys. Make sure your hands are clean. Rub it in. Yeah. So I, I'm going to put chicken seeds on the other side as well. Yeah. Rub it into the little crease. So I told you there, look, I've put a hole there. So you got, you, I can put the seasoning in there. You understand? That's going to go soak straight in the bone. You're rubbing up your woman. Yeah, look. So in there, it's chicken seasoned in there. Yeah, make sure you rub it properly. You see with jerk chicken, chicken here? Yeah? Look, you want to make sure the chicken seasoning goes in here. Yeah, so what I do, so the chicken seasoning is on this side. I'm not going to put the chicken seasoning on the other side first. I'm not going to do that yet. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the jerk seasoning now, the jerk powder, and put it on this side again. Yeah, jerk seasoning, just the jerk seasoning. It says fish here, but I've just put jerk seasoning in here in it so I can distribute it much better in it. So I just shake it around, and there's chicken, there's jerk seasoning all everywhere now, yeah? Don't put too much jerk seasoning because jerk seasoning is a bit salty, isn't it? So you don't want to put too much jerk seasoning. And I'm going to put some all purpose. This is all purpose, yeah? So after this rub, I'm rubbing this side. So look, that's all purpose. I put all purpose, jerk seasoning and chicken seasoning. I'm going to mix this up now and then I'm going to turn the chicken around. Friends now, yeah? We'll talk about the wings are always going to look white, yeah? Because the wings don't, the wings just pure skin, yeah? And I don't put browning on my, on my jerk chicken because the jerk pan's already going to brown it. So if you put browning on it, it's going to get extra dark. You don't want, your, your, your chicken should be golden. Look at inside the hair. That's seasoned, yeah? Look at in here. Look at in here. Seasoned to the bone, yeah? Just rub it in. So now I can flip it over now and it's this turn. It's the skin side now to get to get seasoned now. You understand? Yeah? Spin it round now. So now we're going to do the same process again to make sure it gets even seasoning. With jerk seasoning, you know, you see with jerk, yeah? You can if you you can do it well seasoned because because it goes on a jerk pan, the season don't you have to put a lot of chicken seasoning to make it soak into the chicken. You know what I mean? That's how I said I don't put a lot of jerk seasoning because it's salty, but the other seasoning them are alright to put because it's, it just makes the chicken. You can see the chicken's glossary because I've put the oil in it. Now you guys know what's gonna happen again. So I'll put some chicken seasoning. As I said to you before, the skin side you don't really need to put that much because it's not the skin side is just basically for the, for the skin to have a little bit of flavour in it. You know what I mean? As I said to you, I don't put browning on the chicken because I'm a person, I don't, I cook jerk chicken very slow on the pan. Jerk chicken's meant to be steamed. Steam on the jerk pan, not bun up. You understand? So look upon this now. And I've got a little bit of chicken seasoning. Yeah, it's a little bit of all purpose. So that's jerk seasoning, all purpose. And, and chicken seasoning, yeah, back on the skin. Now I'm gonna do the same rubbing process. Yeah, and I'm gonna rub it up properly because I need my two hands. Yeah, I'll rub it up and look what I'm gonna do. Look, look what I'm doing. I'm putting it in there. I'm putting it in here to make sure that it go in the bone. You understand? And I said to you before, look at that. I put the bone, the cut hair, so the chicken, the 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 and the, um, the season gonna soak in the bone. Look, proper seasoning everywhere. Rub it in. Rub it into the wing to make sure the wing. Rub it into the skin. You know what I mean? Now you turn it back around now, and I'm gonna put my wet rub now. But I blend it up, so you guys are gonna see. So this is the dry rub. Yeah? And look at that. It's a jerk chicken for look. Yeah? Proper jerk. So, yeah? So this is the chicken. Proper season. Yeah? Everywhere. Everywhere season. Yeah? Everywhere. Let me show you now what, what's the next thing I'm going to do. This is what this is. I've done it different today. And I've done it more thick. So this would just stick on the chicken. Yeah? Then I put some oil in here. There's pepper. There's garlic. Um, there's thyme. And stuff. And all I need to do is just throw it over it. Throw it over it. Throw it over it. I've changed the rub. Instead of it being watery, I've changed the rub to be a fucking like a more thicker rub in it, like a paste. So that means that paste is on the chicken now. When I mix it up, you guys are gonna see. Yeah, so this is my own homemade paste. Yeah, this has thyme and everything in it. Yeah, look. Warm me a paste, pepper, thyme, everything. I'm gonna say turn up, no need for you, it's not browning. This is no browning on the chicken. This is just proper seasoning. You know what I mean? A lot of people, I shouldn't really give you guys my secret, you know? But there's levels to this bum buckler. Levels. Yeah? 
It's only look up peace and tell post sword. He's on a big top she blood class chef. Mother thrown blood class something. When you can cook like me. And guess what now? The, the secret is not there yet, you know. It's how you cook the chicken. You see, if you go, you put the chicken on the jerk pan and make it not steam and soak, the flavor now going go into the chicken. All it's going to do is burn up the flavor, then all it's going to get bitter. So when you still can't get the flavor, like how me get the flavor. Flavor boss thing, you know, rich and bum buckler, but why not? Hmm? You, ever, you, you ever see a chef cook chicken, so? Hmm? Look at inside of the bone. You could eat this right now, you know, and I get salami on them, I know. If you eat this right now, you're going to get salami on them. Let me tell you some chicken clean and nice. Let me feed some of them with the chicken. We're not ready yet. I know my dust are going to start it. Blood clot. Stop your eyes, put some. Stop your eyes. Stop your eye. Stop your blood clot and eyes. Stop your eyes. In chicken. You know what I'm saying? Stop your blood clot and eyes. You know what I'm saying? You know, hear me? Eh? Go on, go on, make nice, man. Go on, make nice. Go on, make nice. I'm sure I'm put you up on a blood clot jerk, but if you Stop, make your. Hey! Hmm. Stop, you know. Oh, you're lucky, see your stuff. You know, hey! You know, stop, you nice. Oh, you're lucky, see your stuff, your blood clot nice. So, this has been marinated for around two hours. It's time to get the business. This is the charcoal I use, yeah? This is the charcoal I use, big K. They fix the charcoal, yeah? In a way that there's a den. There's a middle, yeah? There's a middle part, yeah? So, as I said to you before, you don't need a lot of charcoal, yeah? It's not a lot of charcoal, yeah? Because jerk chicken, it ain't meant to be cooked on the high heat. It's meant to be steamed, yeah? Steamed, so the bone is soaked and the bone is soft. You understand? Then, yeah? So, what I'm going to do is get some charcoal and put it in the middle have a leave a little hole because i'm going to put that so i'm going to put the fire lighter yeah when you do it like this you're going to see how it works that's nothing a little done like this so that's down in there so you get you get the drift just make a den yeah you all understand yeah i've made my den i'm just going to drop this right here yeah now i've dropped that right there yeah look what i'm going to do next Lighter. That's all you need. And you leave that now and it will start itself up. Yeah, this is the big K coal. So as I said to you, it's a very good coal. Yeah. You leave it like that. And watch in like 10 minutes you'll see everything light up. This fire ready, the grill's hot. And I always put it face down. So don't put it that where the skin put it this side where the skin's up you don't want the skin to burn put it face down Remember the reason why I told you guys just now I brought the wing. I brought the wing so it sits flat on the grill in it. If I didn't break the wing, it would have been upwards so it wouldn't cook. Yeah? So boom. Now check see. You see the steam. So chicken with steam. Chicken off a chicken off a bono. Chicken with steam. You understand? No? You need that no? So chicken for your steam though. So you don't want it burning up. We just have to turn them quick to make sure them steam. You see, we know we're going to make it brown some more. That's what I said to you. The reason why I never use no browning or what, what we want to call it, soya sauce, or because the, the, the grill will do its job. The grill will do its job, I'm going to tell you. So we just have to turn it because we want to steam the two sides properly. All you can see, we are going. 
You don't see where I'm going. I see a jerk chicken. Look, the fire, we don't have no lot of a coal underneath. And we just have steam it. Braff, yeah, braff. Every five minutes or so, I'm going to come check it. As I'm going to you on a look. You see the steam in it. You see when they steam up and it sweat, it make, it make the chicken get dark, innit? You see, that's our next reason. You don't want to turn it yet. Turn it actually. I'm going to want the skin burning up. You don't want the skin burn. You understand? Cause skin burn, it get bitter. You understand? You really want the skin burn? And it's good. You see, when you do jerk chicken here, yeah, and you take off the skin, your re the skin is really there, so it protect the meat from it, so it not get burned. You understand? You understand? So. We'll leave that now and boom. There's still it. I'm gonna lock the side here yeah? to make sure say no no. So we make a do now. I'm gonna put these chicken up here and make them steam. Are you gonna see how them look? Yeah? Them cook what them need for steam. You know, understand? Leave that down here so they look a bit longer. Up your side, we know so them they cook. Them yeah? I'm gonna turn this side here, it's like a jerk sauce. We never show no how to make it because it's a secret. It's a secret recipe, so we can't show no. But these are the jerk sauce, and this is how I go up on the chicken. And this is how I complement the chicken like pussy and khaki. One lucky person. It's a proper jerk, you know. If one of these are yours, you're lucky.